Hello everybody and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are back here in Universal Studios to check out some Halloween Horror Nights 32 scare zones, some of the food booths set are up, and a little bit of merch. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I love Halloween Horror Nights and if you're watching this video right now, I'm sure you do as well. So let's stop wasting time and let's go check out the stuff. Here we are at the entryway into Universal Studios and they have this little construction up which I believe that they changed it from the past years because it used to be a little farther up kind of where Minion Land is. My thought is they didn't really want to block that off. I could be wrong. We'll have to see, you know, as the construction uh, updates keep coming along. But that would be my thought on it. So this year, we got the five scare zones. Are you excited for the scare zones? I'm super excited. Me too, I am. They have Dr. Oddfellow's Collection of Horror is one of them. Then Dark Zodiac. We have the Jungle of Doom Expedition Horror. Vamp 69, Summer of Blood. And last but not least, Shipyard 32, Horrors Unhinged. They are gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to just all of them. All of them, me too. All of them me are gonna be amazing because Universal does such a great job here for Halloween Horror Nights. All right, so I know I had said I'm excited for all of the uh, scare zones and, and houses as well, uh, but I have to admit, there is one in particular scare zone that I am super pumped about and we're in it right now. It's Vamp 69, has to do with vampires behind me. They got the hippie bus, man. I mean, come on now, it's amazing. Like it's uh, the detail they have on this thing. I wish I could have like helped paint it and they got like a broken window, like the vampires I'm guessing trying to get into the bus to, you know, turn other people into vampires. Then they have a huge stage which there's a bunch of music instruments on it. I'm wondering if they're gonna have like an actual show where they're playing the instruments. I'm hoping so. If not, hey, it is what it is. But the, the artwork on here is amazing as well. You got like the skulls, the Jimi Hendrix, you know, experience. Just so awesome. And they even did a detail by painting some trash cans. They look awesome. They look groovy. I absolutely love this area. I can't wait to come for uh, HHN. It's gonna be just amazing. So for all of you Last of Us fans, they do have a food booth for that right behind me. Super cool. It's got like the sandbags. It's got a good theme, just like the show. Also, they got some chickens that are hanging. I wonder if that's gonna be on the menu for HHN. Now we are in San Francisco and the Chucky booth is over here. Last year, it was not in this location. And they have a item that I do wanna try. I believe it's called the Good Guys Burger. And uh, I'm really excited because we didn't try it last year, but we did try the beignets that were insanely spicy. They were so spicy. It was actually too spicy for me and I can handle some spice, man. And here we are at Shipyard 32 Horrors Unhinged. And just so you know, that 32 is for the fact that it's Halloween Horror Nights 32. And this area is a little crazy. I think some of the creatures from uh, Dr. Oddfellow might have escaped. I'm not really sure. Got to keep a lookout for that when HHN opens. And then they have a crane, which uh, I think that they need to fix the rope on that on that crane because uh, that that cargo did not survive. As you can see, it's all smashed up. And then, of course, it's a shipyard. You gotta have some buoys with a net. The theming here is awesome. I am from Maine, so I know all about shipyards, and this definitely has the feel of a shipyard. That is a really cool scare zone idea. Uh, last year for Halloween Horror Nights, they had a house. It was really cool. It wasn't the most scary, but it was amazing. It was all about like maritime and you know boats and sailors, which uh, I love how they're incorporating in that because I'm, I'm very familiar with uh, you know the the maritime shipyard kind of life. Because uh, like I said, I, I li I've lived in Maine most of my life till we moved down here. Here is another food booth. I'm not sure exactly what this theming is, but I gotta say, it is pretty awesome. Look at the stained glass. It's not real stained glass, but it just looks really, really cool. 
and they also have this skull with a bat which looks very very menacing now we have been whisked away to the jungle of doom expedition horror if you can see behind me that is a very very large spider so the whole thing is i think some animals or insects are uh, taking over the jungle we, let, let's go check it out let's go see what's going on but seriously i mean spiders are all over the place that thing is gigantic man a lot of webs too but i think this is going to be a very cool house this alleyway is always really scary to me and i don't know if it's just because of how the scarers come out or just the lighting in here but it's always really freaky and i almost missed the gigantic bats that are hanging above our heads these things are huge they look awesome but they are nocturnal so they're not gonna they're not gonna come at us right now because it is daytime so it looks like there's like a plane crash so it looks like there might be survivors but we're really not sure there's like their cargo everywhere water jugs a bunch of their stuff but i don't see anybody around but i do see that somebody decided that they got a little hungry and uh they're they're roasting some rats over an open fire yeah. <laughs> now that was pretty spooky now we are heading over to see the dark zodiac scare zone i feel like this is the bigger scare zone over near mel's uh usually is like the biggest one but uh let's go check it out right now so here is one of the set pieces for the dark zodiac it's very uh like metal like a metal artistry going on here obviously not real metal but it looks really really cool man definitely something a little bit different but always do not climb it's not for us it's for the scarers very cool and look they got a little fish up there i just noticed that this is the other set piece I'm trying to figure out what what zodiac sign that is i have no idea but this one i like this one better i think it's got a little more uh color going on a little bit of that rust like this this like face right here kind of looks like the mask from jim carrey's the mask what time is it? wow this is really cool though the detail that uh universal puts into their their hhn and pretty much everything else they do is always very 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 amazing like it really is just they go all out man the theming is just perfect but not a whole bunch going on as far as uh you know construction just those two pieces pretty much but it's always fun to see you know the evolution and the and the building process to bring us hhn every single year before we go to the last scare zone to show you guys i wanted to show you this right here look at this variant comic covers this is going to go in the tribute store and there's five different ones that you can choose from <laughs> three different like variant covers like a comic book it costs 94 dollars and i believe if i'm not mistaken that after uh, you know hhn is done you get to keep the uh the picture i think they send it to you but here is where you can go and pay you can go to the five and dime hollywood tribute store or all hallows eve boutique which all hallows eve is actually at islands of adventure across the way but in case you're interested this is uh this is pretty cool man so it's just believer wow i i really like the uh the white red and black they that they got going on here 30 dollars for this shirt that's very very cool very spooky very spooky and you know to go along with your shirt they got glasses here let's see the price on these i don't see a price i'm not really sure but they are very very cool man and on the back side i know they got some other stuff that is not the exorcist so let's check that out the stranger things man look at that menacing look i'm a big fan of stranger things this is one of the houses that i am pretty pumped about 
because I never got to see Stranger Things when it came to uh, Universal, uh, you know, for the first time. They also have See You in the Fog. Got some magnets and a mug with an amazing handle. Look at that, four finger handle. Just awesome. And here we are in the last and final scare zone. This is Dr. Oddfellow's collection of horror. This thing looks awesome. They got a beautiful looking bat up there. I love that. It's got the spooky vibe going on. I love the detail on this carriage. Also with the wheels that look like spider webs that is so awesome what a great detail that they had there and then let's go around back and check out they got like a circus type tent it looks awesome all right so the last bit of information that i would love to give you guys is this the halloween horror nights tribute store is not going to be located here where the jurassic park tribute store is right now it's actually going to be back where they originally had them over in new york which I think it's a better space, to be honest with you, because I think they're gonna also keep this up for quite a while. That's my guess, but that's the rumor on the street. So, uh, but I can't wait for the tribute store. If you've never been in a tribute store, you need to check it out. One of my favorite things here at Universal Studios. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for me here at Drew in the Moment. What a fun day. Uh, I'm so excited for uh, Halloween Horror Nights, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are pumped. I hope you get a chance to come check out the scare zones and the houses and eat until you can't eat anymore. Because don't forget, Universal Studios has amazing food. They do for their festivals and parties and stuff. Uh, but thank you guys. I hope you consider subscribing and hit that like button. And until uh, we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. It's in a moment with Halloween Horror Nights.